I would love to rid the world of the judgment that comes with seeing how others deal with personal finance and their own family budgets. I mean, it's their own money and all. You know what I'm talking about? That holy roller internal voice of yours in your head that says, They spent how much on date night? What are they thinking spending that kind of money on food this month? They bought new clothes for their kids at that store? I'll be honest, that is a voice that I have inside my head too, and it's a voice I'm actively trying to get rid of. So today I want to talk about that and a whole bunch of other stuff that you discover when you start to post your financial stuff on the internet for the whole world to see. Hi, I'm Wendy Valencia, and today I want to talk to you about real life behind having a personal finance channel and being on a mission to help people live a better financial life because you screwed up your own life and you don't want people to make the same mistakes you have, or you just want to show people that you actually can turn your life around. That's where we are. I first started talking about our personal finances when we had over $300,000 in debt and we were pretty much living paycheck to paycheck, more or less. We had enough each month to pay the bills, but we put so much money to debt every month and we decided we wanted something better for our future, something different. We decided to get out of debt and in the last 33 months, we have paid off $188,000 worth of debt. We've gotten one full month ahead, and we've saved about $10,000 in sinking funds. My goal is to normalize discussions about personal finance, to make everybody comfortable with it, and to make family budget a term that actually makes people smile. But when you commit to this life, there are some things that immediately jump out at you. The very first thing that you see when you post your personal finances and family budget on the internet are the judgers. You would be shocked at the number of judgy things that I hear on an absolutely daily basis. Or maybe you wouldn't. My Christmas budget, for example. While most people are trying to be helpful and kind, there is a small percentage of hateful, hostile people out there. And holy cow, do they kick it up a notch. I've actually been told that I'm a bad parent who spoils my child and my child's going to grow up entitled, so she's never going to care about anyone but herself, which actually surprisingly I've heard several times. And that actually makes me laugh when you know how much of a bleeding heart Melina is. I've also been told like my husband and I don't love each other because we wouldn't feel compelled to buy expensive gifts for each other if we actually were in love. And I genuinely feel sad for this people because that much judgment can't possibly be healthy for someone. The second thing you see when you post your personal finances and family budget on the internet is that the people we know in real life know exactly how much money we make and where we spend our money. And this includes coworkers, my boss, the ladies that go to book club with me, my friends, my neighbors, my mom. Hi mom. It's, it's hard having everybody know about your personal finances and it, it can be extremely uncomfortable in social situations. The third thing that you see when you start to post your finances and family budget on the internet is that some people are actually destined to be failures in the personal finance arena. And I find this actually one of the hardest parts about doing this because there are just some people out there who, no matter what you tell them, you're not going to be able to help them because you can't help them until they decide to help themselves. And, and, and these people aren't that way because they can't help themselves. They can turn it around. They just choose to be the way that they are. These people actually break my heart probably more than anyone because I can't possibly imagine living a life with no hope for success in the future. The fourth thing that you see when you post your personal finances and family budget on the internet is that you really, really have to be careful not to overshare. And I'm an oversharer by nature. But not just our bank account numbers and our passwords. And it's actually other things too, like the name of our daughter's school or her doctor or her swim team 
or the other kids she hangs out with. Ways that might make it easy for the world to figure out where we are regularly. And and you'd be absolutely amazed at how easy it is for me to figure out where you live and you work and you spend most of your free time just based on what you post online. And I don't want you to be able to do that for me. The fifth thing that you see when you post your personal finances and family budget on the internet is about 80% of the world is supportive and super, super encouraging. Those people are there to cheer you on and celebrate with you and help pick you up if you fail. These are the people I do this for and they are the reason I'm going to succeed. So I'll see you in the next one. See ya. We're out.